So, dear students, here we have problem 8 under the topic non-linear partial differential equations of type 2. So, the question is solve P cube is equal to Q Z. So, the given question has only P, Q and Z. So, the given equation is of the form capital F of Z, P, Q equal to 0. So, only P, Q and Z are present explicitly. So, in that case, what we have to do is we have to substitute Q is equal to AP. So, we shall first mark this as equation 1. So, in equation 1, we have to put Q is equal to AP in equation 1. So, what we get is, so here in equation 1, we have P cube to be equal to Q is it. So, at the place of Q, you have to replace it by AP. So, it will be APZ. So, if you see in this, one of the P on the right and one of the P on the left gets cancelled and from this we get P square to be equal to AZ. And from this further, we obtain the value of P to be equal to plus or minus square root of AZ. So, therefore, the value of P we have obtained. Now, we have to substitute the value of P and the value of Q in the equation, dz is equal to p dx plus q dy. Now, before substituting, we shall first replace q by ap in this. So, dz will be equal to p dx plus q is ap dy. And so, that will be equal to p is common. So, p multiplied with dx plus a dy. Taking the p to the left, we get d z divided by p to be equal to dx plus a dy. We shall now substitute the value of p here. So, what we get is d z divided by, so p is plus or minus square root of a z. So, we can write plus or minus square root of a z to be equal to dx plus a dy. We shall now integrate on both the sides. So, we have plus or minus 1 by square root of a is a constant which can be taken out of the integral. And we will be having dz by square root of z is equal to integral dx plus a integral dy. So, now if you see when we want to integrate square root of z which is in the denominator, it means z to the power 1 by 2. And so, when taken to the numerator, it will be 1 by square root of a integral z to the power negative 1 by 2 dz. That is equal to, and what is integral dx? It is x plus a multiplied with integral dy is y plus a constant of integration which is b. So, this will be plus or minus 1 by square root of a. And what is the integral of x power n? It is x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Here the value of n is negative 1 by 2 and instead of x we have z. So, it will be z to the power negative 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by negative 1 by 2 plus 1 is equal to x plus a y plus b. So, further on simplification this will become plus or minus square 1 by square root of a and here we have z to the power negative 1 by 2 plus 1 is 1 by 2 which is square root of z. So, z power 1 by 2 we get. So, that can be written as square root of z divided by 1 by 2 is equal to x plus a y plus b. Now, further this will become plus or minus 2 square root of z divided by square root of a is equal to x plus a y plus b. Now, in order to get rid of the square root, we can square on both the sides and so this turns out to be uh, it becomes plus or minus will become plus itself and square of 2 is 4 and square of the square root of 2 will give us z itself. I mean the square root of z is z divided by the square root of a will be uh, I mean square of the square root of a will be a is equal to on the right x plus a y plus b the whole square. So this is what we get. So, further this can be written as 4z is equal to, taking this a to the right, a multiplied with x plus ay plus b the whole square. So, this is the required solution for this problem. 
So I hope you would have understood this problem. In our next video, we will continue with problem 9. Thank you.